All right, so the internet tells me that I should go to Crescent Lake and then go south from here. So let's do that. Well, maybe not that far south, because uh, that's where I came from. Let's go this way <laughs> and take that southish. Some land up, oh, not much up, oh, nope, there's a way in. Oh, zombies, huh? That fire sword's really working out still. No, oh, they're not doing much damage. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit so the microphone doesn't pick it up. I'm hoping I can get where I'm going from here. Is this the same? You know, a lot of these enemies look the same, so it's hard for me to tell if I fought this monster or not. Probably have, because it was kind of a weak one. There's a desert! Oh look look where my ship was. I could have just I could have just gone straight here. I went so far around, but an airship. Oh shit, look at that. Of course all the Final Fantasy games have airships, or most of them. Anyway. How do I land it? I like how they got this sort of Mode 7 effect going on. Where, of course, the original game wouldn't have had that. It was an NES game, not a SNES game. And these, this kind of effect is completely unnecessary. Look, it's got a, like, the castle sticking out of the ground. This kind of thing is completely unnecessary nowadays because you don't... You can use, like proper polygonal graphics and stuff to represent the environment and all that. So this rotating plane or this um, plane at a really strong angle isn't necessary anymore. But, you know, it's something you can do. Anyway, I guess maybe I could use this to jump back around to a lot of the areas. I, I kind of got finished a story part and I don't want to start a dungeon, do I? But there was a section in the Fire Temple that just, um... Fire, in the Fire Temple that there were a lot of treasure chests that I didn't pick up. So I'm not going to go and do any more story stuff at this point in the game, but I... But I will take a trip around trying to find my missing treasure chests. Ah. Kinda don't wanna I kinda forget what I had gone into. I know I didn't explore the entire place. Oh, you know what it was? It was at the end. What I'm thinking of was at the very end. There were those different corners. And I didn't explore them because I thought that they were dead ends. So, that's what I'm gonna go and check out. This is an infuriating dungeon. Kind of weird that the that they put this dungeon here before the Ice Temple. I guess maybe the Ice Temple could have done, been done first, but the Ice Temple was way easier. And if 
they're really supposed to be about the same part of the game, why is the one temple so much easier than the other? But whatever. It's an old game. Airship. Very common in the uh, all the Final Fantasy games have airship. Usually it's something you don't get until you're pretty good ways into the game, so I'm assuming I'm getting close to the end. They don't want to give you an airship too early, because they want you to sort of earn your way through the world, in a way. And if you have an airship that just lets you fly over everything, then what's the, the point? They, they... okay, here I am. They want you to work your way through it. So I could have just jumped to the Fire Temple right at the beginning of the game if I had the airship at the beginning. And in this case... Uh, I mean, I guess I can... Unless there's some, like, restriction preventing you from doing things, I wonder what will prevent me from just, like, jumping to the final dungeon. Maybe... I'm at the end of the game. Maybe I can just go right to the final dungeon. But there's a big chunk of the map I didn't really explore yet. Oh, flame mail. Okay. Oh, well, that'll ward off fire attacks, at least. While I'm in here. <laughs> I kind of don't want to ever miss anything in terms of treasure chests. So it's clearly an example of sort of old design of games that they... There's nothing here. Old design of games that they clearly want me to explore, but they're also punishing me for doing it. The random encounter rate in this game is high, as it is for a lot of old JRPGs. So do I really... nothing here. Do I really want to run around looking for treasure chests if I'm going to keep getting into fights that are wearing my characters out? In this case, by this point, I know that... I know that there's no end boss in this dungeon because I already killed it. And the enemies are just easy enough, a little bit easier now. So it's not really such a big deal that I'm running back through here. But doing it on the first time? Oh my god. But, you know, old games were grind heavy, weren't they? Big room, there better be something in here. Speaking of grinding, I'm getting some nice experience points out of this uh, trek back through this dungeon. Gained quite a few extra levels. And I have more levels than when I run through here before, so my characters are having an easier time of it. Potion, just potions. Potions are practically useless at this point in the game. One more, one more room, I think. Better be something good. Better be something good. Nothing. Alright, so that was all the spokes of this area. Okay, so I guess all I really wanted out of this was to have um, something to fill out the rest of the episode with. And get to go back, collect some extra dungeons. I got some experience points out of it, but this was a little bit of a disappointing run. I mean, potions by this point in the game. I mean, I'll use them to top off my character's health as opposed to um, just using magic or better uh, healing items or something, but they don't really do a lot, potions that is. So I'm a little confused as to why they filled up all these extra treasure chests with those. Why not like a high potion, something that I can actually make more use of? You're punishing me for exploration. Like, I'm going out of my way to explore these areas, and you're just... You're just punishing me for it. So... Anyway... I'm out! <laughs> Take a quick look up here. Oh. How do I bring up the map? Eh, 
There we go. So yeah, there's this whole other con two continents, really, that I didn't explore. Like, ah, oh, see, that's probably a dungeon. Is there, are there any towns? That's a town. Let's land there and just uh, make ourselves at home. Gaia, huh? Oh, okay. Thank you for that. Hey, magic. <laughs> Anyway, let's just take a quick gander at what kind of magic they got going in here. Got something. Not both of those spells won't work for Vivi. Well, wow, she can't use that? Either of these. Is there another white mage town? Yeah, there is up here. Oh, they're conjoined. <laughs> Can't learn. Oh, not high enough level, maybe. Yeah, can't get level 8 magic. Uh, where's status? No, I can. Look at that. For some reason, I just can't do it. That's unfortunate. You got one spell. Welcome. I don't know who I'm selling to, because we don't have outsiders in this town. <laughs> okay, so. There's a... Uh... Boom. Upgraded. Any storyline stuff going on here? Okay. Fairy living in the spring. Oops. Okay. Looks like there's another area of the map above. But, I don't know if you can actually get there. Oh, there's a item shop. Just the usual crap. Oh, okay, I can get up here. Caught a ferry. Okay. Okay, so that's what happened to the ferry. Somebody caught her and sold her. <laughs> Bit of a douche. Oh, this has got to be the lake that the ferry lives in. So i got to find a ferry and bring her back. But, you know, can't do that in this episode. Because it's already too late. <laughs> Can't have an episode be 45 minutes long. <laughs> that's crazy. Alright, so that's the whole village, right? Some caravan. There's a caravan somewhere. Oh, okay, those are the borders. 